Chapter One. So it begins. The next money, the next morning, the sun rose just as it should, and at eight forty-eight a.m., Ms. Plum stood at the front of her classroom, her hands resting neatly before her as her new students scuffled and tumbled into class. They looked at her and quickly looked away again, not wanting to show how excited or curious or even a little scared they were. Nearly every student at Springtime Elementary knew there was something about Ms. Plum's class, but the kids who had her in other years never said much. In fact, if you asked about her, funny things seemed to happen to their mouths. Their lips would open and shut, twist and turn, and finally something would pop out like, we learned a lot about hermit crabs, but they would have this smile, a secret kind of smile. And suddenly, more than anything, you wanted to be in that class. It was true, Ms. Plum had a nice sort of tidiness about her. Her gray blonde hair sprouted up like wings behind her ears. Her plum colored glasses perched on her large friendly nose, sprigged up into sparkly points. The eyes behind those glasses were a light brown color and as bright as a sparrow's. But it had to be more than her friendly look, didn't it? Today, as the students settled into their new desks, Ms. Plum welcomed them to class and began to call roll. As the students raised their hands, Ms. Plum paused, studied each child, then wrote something on her list. Now then, she said, smiling with bright-eyed interest, who wants to get me a pencil? Nadia was afraid to raise her hand. Mindy Min was carefully arranging her things on her desk. Why bother, thought Jeremy. Why bother with anything at all? She should have a pencil already. Teachers are supposed to have pencils, thought Becky O. Dharma gnawed at the bug bites on her knuckles. Bobby didn't understand the question. Eric was trying to get Brad's attention. Brad and Tashala were too busy arguing to notice anything. Carlos raised his hand because offering to help the teacher showed them right away that you were one of the smart ones. But Ms. Plum pointed at Tashala and said, Tashala, could you get me a pencil, dear? Tashala, looking a little startled, stopped arguing, stared at her teacher. Ms. Plum cocked her head, her sparkly glasses catching the sunlight. She nodded toward the closet. Tashala stood up, went to the closet, opened the door, and stepped inside. And so began another year of Ms. Plum.